actually I was kind of choosing a dream that I had like multiple times when I was younger. Um, I, I remember I would just like wake up in a cold sweat and I like, I wouldn't remember what the dream was, but like I can like picture it. Um, it was pretty much like, there were like, it was basically like all white. Um, all I can really remember is um, I kind of like bumped into someone and I said, excuse me, and they were like some worker. I don't even know what it was, but I just knew they were a worker. And then um, I walked a little bit more and there was this like woman or like queen or something and she was just like, she just kept telling, like telling everyone like, I don't know, I guess basically like, this, this is the chosen one, this is like, you know, this is like the person, this is, I don't know, I don't even know what it was, but that's, that's basically like the dream I kept having. I had a lot when I was probably like fourth or fifth grade, and um, I stopped having it for a while. Um, it kind of, the time span in between each time I had the dream um, stretched even further, so it'd be like six months until I had the dream again, and then it'd be like a year, and then it'd be a couple years, and I haven't had it for a couple of years, but each time I see the dream, I like can remember it more. I don't know if it's because my memory is stronger, but I don't know. Mm. So yeah, I don't really know how to explain the dream any more than that. You've got a lot of great symbolism in there. You've got a worker, you know, that you don't necessarily see, right? Yeah. You have a queen who is kind of calling you out in a way, and then you have all this, this white. Yeah, right? it was a very, it was like everything was white. It was yeah, <laughs> let me ask you this, are you part of like of a spiritual community or a church or something um, like that? I was for like a couple of months, but um, I just haven't really, like I believe in God, but I don't really like, I'm not religious. Right, right. I don't really believe in religion. I believe in God, but I don't believe in religion. <laughs> if that makes sense. I have my yeah, own views it, it. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely <laughs> makes yeah. sense, let me tell you. I would just... You know, adding into what Holly said, just with this dream, um, you know, we have dreams that are intrinsic, that come from ourselves. We have dreams that are extrinsic, you know, that come from the outside. I believe that this is an outside dream. And the fact that you have this dream over and over and over, I believe that God is just trying to get your attention. Okay? He's trying to say, daughter, I've created you for some incredible things. All right? You may not necessarily know what those things are now, uh, but continue to seek me out and you'll find out what they are. Yeah. All right? Wow. Now let me ask you this. How does that make you feel on the inside? Um, makes me feel a little bit better. A little bit better? <laughs> yeah. It's not like some like bad omen or something. No, not at or all. There's something wrong with me. Not at all. No, I would just say that you have a, just an incredible calling and destiny uh, on your life and that's what it's about. It kind of puts you know? a lot of pressure on me, but yeah. No, no, no. You'll <laughs> that's, just that's naturally, you'll just, walk, you'll just step right into it. There's nothing you need to strive to do. Right. Okay? Wow. That sounds good. That's a cool dream. I, I like cool. this.